Hello Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the 11th to the, no, let me check. It's for the, from the 12th to the 18th of December. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to pull four rows for you. Past, present, future and outcome. Let's see what's coming up for you. Okay, Pisces, so <clears throat> your past row starts with the Seven of Wands. Standing up for yourself in any conflicts, arguments or disputes. Being overwhelmed by this, the Seven of Cups. And these two, I wanted to pull two at the bottom. The Page of Pentacles and the Hanged Man, so a new opportunity or commu communication that you've been waiting for about a new job or a new opportunity has been delayed. Because the Hanged Man with the Seven of Cups is definitely a... Um, stuck kind of energy. This is in your current energy, two of swords, a decision to be made. Two of cups, communication with your higher self, also could be talking about the perfect partner. Two twos in a row, like that, the number 22. Mm, two little ducks. <clears throat> With the Ace of Pentacles, that's really good considering Opposite it, you do have the Page of Pentacles here. In the bottom row. Ace of Pentacles, a new, a new beginning, a new opportunity. Looks like in a job with the Page of Pentacles next to it. <clears throat> now, obviously, your life decisions are your decisions to make. But I am picking up an energy of maybe a decision to do something about your job. I mean, I, I was getting the words maybe considering leaving. But uh, obviously, if things are going great in your workplace, you don't want to be leaving. You don't want to be doing that. The Wheel of Fortune was just sticking out the deck and was calling to me to pick it. Now, yes, yeah, sure, this is great for good fortune. But there's one important thing to remember about the wheel is it does turn. 
But considering it's coming after the Ace of Pentacles, that's good. That's good for luck. Good for money. And also with the Two of Cups right here in the center of your current energy, that is good for love. But I think this is talking about a, a occupation that is the right thing for you, that matches with you. The Three of Wands in the beginning of your future column. Another double running number. You had two twos, and right next to those two twos, you have two threes with the three of wands and the three of cups. So there is a leveling up feeling that I'm getting because of that. Two of swords, two of cups, preceded by in the next row, two of wands, three of cups. Maybe this reading is about love. With the lovers showing up there. Queen of Wands. not listening to anyone else's advice on that doing doing things the way that you think that they should be done mm -hmm. eight of cups doing things the way you think they should be done and if that means walking away then walking away is necessary eight of cups and seven of pentacles that is definitely a change of direction putting your energy somewhere else, putting it into something positive, not continuing <clears throat> with something that's a bit negative and not working out for you. Maybe in a relationship, maybe in a job. It's much more likely it's to do with the relationship. <clears throat> Let's clarify. With the Seven of Wands, you have the Knight of Swords. The word that I'm getting there is turning your back on any arguments. Seven of Cups, we have the Star card. So the Star card comes after the Tower card. It's like the calm after the storm. The healing opportunity. Could be a revelation could be a moment of epiphany, a moment of realization about something, 
about a relationship. With the hangman and the page of pentacles, you have the ten of swords. So something is finished. Maybe you have been um, betrayed. That could just be meaning that um, hanging around and waiting for something to happen, that's what's over. It could mean that. Okay, with the Two of Swords, we have the Five of Pentacles. So being kept in the dark about something and being left outside. The, uh, definitely being kept in the dark about something. Maybe someone's keeping secrets from you. Maybe, um, maybe a loved one is keeping secrets from you. Justice card on the Two of Cups. That's interesting, especially considering this Justice card does have the two mirror images. Obviously, that has it has a reversed side. I, d I don't do reversals. But considering this reading definitely looks like it's talking about a relationship the way it's panning out it doesn't look like you have been treated fairly in that hmm the three of cups twice so don't forget to go out and have fun be sociable it is with the ace of pentacles and the wheel of fortune <clears throat> it's very important because on the three of wands you have the three of wands it's amazing how many times cards do double up considering the probability of that actually happening so that's the universe saying I meant what I said about the three of wands and and what that message is coming through very clearly is if you stay where you are if you accept the the same things that you've been accepting then you will get what you always got if you keep making the same decisions you will get what you've always been getting from those decisions It's like continuing to do the same thing and expecting different outcomes. On the Three of Cups, we have the Strength card. So that's kind of like a separate little side message I got there. Maybe there's someone in your social group, a friend, who needs support at this, not right now, but coming up in the future. And it looks like things are going to turn out well for love. Because on the lovers, you do have the magician card. Maybe there's a Leo in your social circle that has their eye on you. Especially with the Queen of Wands showing up next. And on the Queen of Wands, you have the Sun. So I'm just going to stick with exactly what I just said there. Okay, what's coming up with the Eight of Cups? We 
With the Eight of Cups, the world, completion. And always when there is completion, there is the opportunity to start something new. It's like completing out a cycle. Um, you learnt all you could learn from a situation and now it's time to move on. And with the Seven of Pentacles, a Harvest Time card, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Everything you've ever wanted in your life, in the way of success, joy, family, love. Great card to end on there. With the world and the Ten of Pentacles coming at the end there, that's amazing. Okay, Pisces, thanks for being here. Don't forget to check your moon and rising sign. Until next time, take care. <laughs>